Good morning, YouTube fam. What's up? We got Kais over here, his friend. I'll put their Instagrams right on their heads. <laughs> so you guys can follow them. We're about to work on his car. We got, um, we're going to do, what are we doing? PRL intake hose. We're putting the Canon filter in instead of the stock one. And then, what else? Yeah, we're installing high beams and we're doing uh, torque mount install. That's the upper torque mount. Uh, he, already did the, he already did the K-Tuner stage two, so he's good to go with that. And he's gonna install his uh, rear spoiler to cover his factory holes. So let's get to it. Keep, keep watching, stay tuned. All right, so here's the intake hole for the PRO. What it came with, it came with, the, it came with that. So I mean, I already got a video on how to install it, but we're gonna go over it again in detail. So you guys, any questions you might have or you had before, I'll, do, I'll answer that right now while I install it. We got the tools ready, it's all set up. And like I mentioned, the torque mount, you got this one. Don't get the Hasport one because it's gonna add more vibration. I spoke to many of Ford owners, they all said to get this one. There's really, you, you're gonna feel a difference really quick on this one. So there's plenty of videos on this already, but I'll make a detailed video on how installing it because I didn't see them install it from a different angle. They just went, it's just, you know, went from stock to this one. And he's gonna install, yeah, and I'll put a link in the description below for this, guys. So if you need any help or direct, direct link to it, it's cheaper too. It's like 60 to 70 bucks total shipping. And the k &N filter right here does make a big difference. I have it 50% more airflow than your stock ones. Um, and we got the heat shield wrap um, for the Puro intake hose to keep the heat away from mixing in with the cold air. And then we got the high beams right here. Um, so that's gonna be really nice. So definitely, I'll put the link in the description for, below for this as well. And we'll install them and we'll see how it looks. Uh, stay tuned and keep watching. Uh, so what we're gonna need for the bolts is, um, what is that, 732? I don't know if you could focus on there. Yeah, I'm focusing on it. Uh, there you go. That one. And then for the bolts on the side, I'll show you real quick. Where's the... 1332, that's what I got on this side. So they're gonna fit pretty much on the sides here and on the, the bolts right here on this side. So we're gonna get to it soon. I'll put it to a side for now. Put it in my pocket, so I'm gonna drop it. But uh, yeah, don't don't open up these bolts with the uh, uh, Phillips because you might mess it up. It's best to open it with the bolts, it's a lot easier. My bad guys, my storage was full. <laughs> so that's, I'm just letting you know I have more mods coming up. So that's why my storage was full. Gotta edit those. So I kind of left off on this two bolts right here. We gotta remove. Not remove, but you know, loosen them as much as you can. take uh, this piece out since he forgot to get the cover for the top but the filter is literally gonna sit there's a video I did it the filter is gonna sit right there and then just close the top uh, but he's gonna we're gonna put this back on on the PRL intake hose right there uh, because he forgot the top for this so take it easily take this piece out if it's tough guys, just use a flathead. I'll grab the flathead real quick. Just use a flathead to get in. To break it loose a little bit. There you go. Do it on a few sides. Alright, so this, I broke the seal and I got it out. Keep it to the side for now. And this piece, when you're taking it out, all you have to do is kind of wiggle side to side. If not, like I said, use the flathead again. See, broke the, broke it loose. Just kind of do that and kind of twist it a little bit. It'll come right off. 
and just wiggle it side to side and pull towards the other side it'll come off that's out and then this piece right here like i said we're gonna switch it up it's in my pocket for now <laughs> i don't want to lose my stuff <laughs> but this the bolt right here we got to take off these two but um i think first thing i'm gonna do is take this off the you can come on this side you can show so there's a bolt right here and one in the bottom so if you take this off uh, first, it'll be a lot easier so you don't have to remove these two hoses. So I'll show you guys right now. So. There you go, it broke loose. Don't worry guys, it's, that's, that's like broke loose, that's all. <laughs> it's gonna take some pressure. And make sure not to lose the, cause it can easily come down. But. That's where it is. I'll put it right there. So it doesn't go anywhere. Then the bottom one. If you have an extension, that's good. I have a small one, but it works perfectly fine. Broke it loose. There you go. On this one, just try to use the extension as a, you know, to bring it out. Because you don't want to lose it hard spot yeah I right, want to do it halfway you can just do it literally the finger on the side are you able to see it now come on this side so you can show them all right yeah so there you have it right there. Is it better? Yeah. So it's gonna come out slowly. You make sure you hold it with two or three fingers, whatever. <laughs> Grab it out. Put it there. So we're gonna take the seal off from here. Just wiggle bottom up and down and pull out. Got there it. you go guys. So when you wiggle and pull it out, that's how it's gonna work. And then just put it to a side. Right. And you can take the camera now. So you Now we'll go for these bolts right here. Got it? Yep. Just loosen up this one. there second one so we're gonna use one of them again while we install the PR intake hose so flathead break the seal there you have it right there it's kind of heavy but it's weird <laughs> and then same thing here I gotta break the seal again Out. Whatever you'll put it. You don't need it yet. That's out. That's how it looks, guys. <sighs> that's the that's the downpipe shields right there. Two of them. And then to install this one, keep.
came with the clamps. So we gotta have to ask guys where you put them. And yeah, guys, so when we have two of these bolts that we removed from this section, we're gonna put one of them back on. Uh, it's this one that we won't use, but you could just put them back on. You know, you don't wanna lose it in the storage or anywhere. Just might as well put it back on here. But this one we're gonna reuse to attach the hose to there, just to stabilize it. Yo, Christ, can you bring the clamps for the intake hose? Those T's three, right? Yep. So we got three of them, small ones, obviously, for this side right there. So small ones gonna go there. I just tighten. I'm not gonna tighten up right now. I'll get to it in a second. And then there's two clamps that's one is longer one is short all right so we're also going to get these items in the package two bolts that come with it that's this is where we're going to reuse so the two bolts are pretty much going to go in this section to hang on to this side and the factory the factory one the bolt that we removed we're going to place it here with that to stabilize it so you guys will see in a second We're just gonna go ahead and right. we're gonna put on the small clamp since it's going this way. So small clamp's gonna go up. And we're gonna insert that in there, that piece. That's perfect. And it's gonna come straight that way. Yeah. Well, that's installed. My bad. It's the short way. Just twist it, guys. It's all good. So once the short way is installed, it's gonna go in like that, and that piece you got there. All right. So the piece is pretty much gonna go back right there uh, but we'll do that in a second first we just have to make this spot tight right there stupid people bro I don't know how to drive Good spot right there. All right, that's tight. And we're going to use the long clamp. I believe it's gonna go on the intake side. How much as I remember. Let me check this out. Now the long side is gonna be here on this side. And then for the intake side it's gonna be short one. Yep. So you're gonna have one long, one short, they fit right into each other. So the short one's gonna go on the intake side where we install the intake and the uh, my bad, I'm showing you the opposite way. So the intake side, and then the long one's gonna come here. So we can get to that right now. And then we're using uh, what bolt we're gonna use for this? I think it's not this one, it's just for the bolts. So I think we're gonna use this one right now. These numbers are weird. It's like, what does it say, 5, 15, that's it. Yep.
don't tighten it yet too much. Just have it like set up. So it doesn't move around because you're gonna have to adjust this area. Okay, yeah, that piece is tight. But... So what you want to do here is um, you want to tighten this area up first, which is on this side. You can come on this side. All right, guys. So when you do install this one, make sure you actually grab it really good. Uh, first thing you want to do is put these. I have two of them. You want to put them in there first. So it's kind of just bring it up a little bit so it lines up. And once it's in there, you're good to go. Just pin it by hand first. And then use the second one. That's why I told you guys not to uh, tighten up too much because we're going to move around a little bit for now. Just line it. So we pretty much put this bolt back right there to uh, stabilize the intake on this side. Now, you can just push a little bit forward. All right. All right, and then you just tighten up these. That's tight. Now you can come on this side. Alright, so now you guys can uh, tighten this piece up right there. Seal it up good. Should be good. That's perfect. And change the bolts back to that one. So again, all you guys gotta do is just kind of wiggle side to side it will go right in yeah, I'm gonna take a break I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him do it <laughs> all right so it's gonna be if you're having a hard time pushing it back in together just have the screws in but carefully with the bottom one of course once you have it in halfway or right there as you tighten them up um, this piece will automatically seal right in so there's a gap right now couldn't get a grip of it couldn't seal it back in but when you put the screws there and as you tighten, tighten them up it's gonna get sealed by itself I'm gonna do it little by little then I'll go for the bottom side so tough, bro. Where is it? There it is. Hold on, take that off. So it's pretty much when I tighten up all this both sides, it's sealed up. Gap is closed. And now we're gonna work on installing the intake and then we'll be done. But make sure you put that clamp right there before you uh, before you put that in so we'll get there in a minute we'll go back to you all right guys so temporary we're gonna put this one back on um, only because he forgot the top to cover the filter but he's gonna bring it later on so when he gets home then we'll continue so keep watching and we're about to install that completely back on all right here's the high beam we're gonna install that's how it looks standard that's the standard guys you can see the bulb is not bright see the chrome inside that's how you can tell it's not bright and once we install these we'll show you guys how to install them and then we'll see how the difference <laughs> you guys 
<laughs> you guys got gloves too with that package. That is dope. Check that out. <laughs> Definitely, I'll link in the description below for these. That's how they look. Yeah, that's how they look, guys. Pretty nice. Yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> that's the standard one. Standard ones right there. You just unplug it right there. What was it? Right there. Yeah, you just unplug it right there. It's a blue one. Twisted. Um, what is that? Counterclockwise. So towards your right hand. And it comes out. The next one installation. Install that one, bro. Go for it. Huh? No. Uh, just plug it. Just plug and play. <laughs> this right here, right? Yeah. Like that. What the fuck is with this? Oh, this came with. You could, um, yeah, it's just like the controller it, no, module it thing. You should have a 3M to, to put it somewhere. Yeah. 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 It came with sticky tape to put on the back of the box. Yeah, you could put it on after the after you install the light. So there's like what? Straight in with that? No, nah, there's three uh, brackets right here. Two, I think. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Just kind of line them up. different guys the standard that's the high beam right there the aftermarket well not aftermarket but LED ones big difference the close-up look to it and then standard right there definitely guys link in the description below for these these are awesome I'm about to get them too and then next thing we're gonna head to is the torque mount right there but uh, we'll see before and after on that. Let's check this out. This is stock filter. It's just there's literally like so much restriction for the airflow. It's bad. You know. So we're gonna get rid of this. This is trash. I don't know if he wants to keep it, but it's trash. <laughs> and this is K and N right here. Look at the difference. It's just amazing. You guys can wash it, reuse it, rinse it, let it dry. Just sit right there. And it's got 50% more airflow. So link is in the description below for this one as well. So yeah, it definitely makes a difference. We're gonna test it out. Put the mass, well, yeah, mass airflow sensor in there. Direction gotta go the other way, bro. No, no, push it out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's going in, and then we're gonna plug it right in. That's it. Then we'll hit to the next one. It's going to be the torque mount right there. That's the fun part. You got to test out. That's the high beams. They blend right in. That's perfect. That's nice. Do one more thing. And then we'll check the, the house. Yeah, that's bright. A lot better. All right, go for it. Uh, we're checking for the wheel hop, guys. This is before we installed the torque mount. Nice. So we're gonna check it again, and then we'll, uh, we're gonna check it from the inside, and then we're gonna install it, the torque mount and see the difference. All right, now we're gonna get a view from inside and you could go for it. I got the hood. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a big ass, like a wheel hop, bro. I felt it. <laughs> you can see in the video too, it kind of went up by the headlights, you can tell. The headlights would go up. But yeah, we'll make a U-turn, we'll go do it again. We're gonna go from this area, so go for it. Watch the headlights go up. Yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and install. The high beams. It's alright. We're gonna go ahead 
Yeah, that's the high beams, guys. <laughs> it's pretty far. But, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install the torque, uh, in engine torque mount right now. And we're gonna see the difference. All right, guys, so it was really dark. Um, so we figured we'd do it, you know, in the morning, whatever, the weather is good. So we're gonna go ahead and take these two bolts out that we mentioned. Um, let me see, what, what do we need for this one? What number is that? 916. 916, yeah, so we need, uh, let me grab that. Yo, you take it out. <laughs> Alright, so that's what we're going to grab. Where is it? There you go. 916. Yeah. So, go for it, bro. I'm, this, this was a little bit tight, so we did kind of loosen up a, just a little bit, but it's doable. Anybody could do it. This takes a little bit of force on it. Yeah, I gotta go. Yep. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there you go. So just unscrew that. I'll oh, do the rest with the yeah, end. There you go. Easy. Nice. And now we just. Make sure you put the same screws, so don't mix up the screws yeah. with each other. So this one has a mark on it. This is hot. Um, this one has a mark on it, so this will go on top. You could always put this, you know, over here on top and the bottom one. You could put it somewhere else, so you know it doesn't. You don't mix it up. Make sure because that, that, that piece is going to come with it. Mm -hmm. Take that. So let me, let me grab this first. So I'm going to put this one on top. And then, yeah, so that comes that way out. This Look at this rubber piece. It's already worn, stuff, torn apart a little bit. <laughs> so that's all plastic, yo. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is plastic, yeah. man. <laughs> So I'll put the link in the description below for that torque mount so you guys get the right one because the Hasport one has a lot of vibration to it. And this one I've heard from many, many uh, Accord owners that's, two, that's like Sage 2 tuned in whatever. They made a big difference for it. Yeah, it's a little heavy too. Let me see. This is up. Yeah, the long side is going to go down, which is right here, guys. So the long side, you can see a difference. This is very short. This long side is going to go down. It says up. <laughs> yeah, and that even says yeah. up. There you go. I don't think I've ever seen anybody mention that. So, you're blocking the way. Wait, where do you go? Right there. So, kind of line it up. Right there. And that slides right in. There you go. This in? Yeah. And then the top one. This goes in. Yeah, it's in. It's lined up. Mm -hmm. So we'll definitely go ahead. Um, they have a lot of uh, wheel up and like wheel spin. So all we need to do is tighten them up. Yeah. Make sure you put this black piece back on as well because it's like it comes off and the black piece does say up on it as well. Make it really tight. If you have a smaller one, hold on, I'm going to give you a smaller one. You have the smaller one so they have more. So they can tighten up even more. Yeah. I'll show you guys real quick. If you have, if you guys have a smaller one, 916. So you have, you're putting more force in the bottom rather than in the middle. So this way you can tighten up quicker and more. There you go. Much better. Yeah, just make sure you guys tighten up really good. It's okay, you won't break it. Oh, and yeah, and then I'll show you guys um, the difference. So stay tuned and keep watching once this is tightened up. Should I put on paddles or just leave it on sport? Uh, sport is fine. Alright, just drive it. <laughs> it did make a difference. It stays down. <laughs> Yeah, the car stays down a lot. Yeah. Like, I feel a little bit more like, you know, 
whatever power you put into it, mm -hmm. stage two, it's like, it's there now. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I go on this street, it's back home. But, yeah, it's a huge difference. It doesn't come up anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until he comes back now. Yeah, no more wheel hops. <laughs> That's nice. It's more stiffer. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this, uh, this helped you guys out. Stay tuned, keep watching. <laughs>